This program brought to you by SeaDance.com. I was not even thought that I will be a, such a big star. I want to be a dancer first of all, and then I think <clears throat> because of my character and I want to be somebody, that's why uh, I went through the hard time and uh, I became a star. But first of all, I'm a normal human being and it, I think it's the most important things to be normal. When I was in school, I wanted to be a dancer only. Then I didn't know that I will win so many prizes in the ballet competition. I didn't know that I will be dancing in the most important ballet companies in the world and also most famous ballerinas. But it's, everything was follow like a roll open, open, open. I think to describe myself, to describe myself, I can say only dancer without sound. That's it. This is I can describe myself. The American Ballet Theater it was the biggest step in my career because they opened the doors of the Metropolitan Opera and also I met lots of dancers with whom I'm still have contact and dancing together. Uh, of course I dance everything what has been in the repertoire of the American Ballet Theater. Uh, Nacho Duato and Marta Graham and Etudes and the Corsair and Swan Lake and all, all, everything what is Romain Juliet and La Sylphide. And uh, I still want to have a couple of performances to do in American Ballet Theater, but of course the economic situation is so bad, they don't have money to invite me to do my farewell performance. But I hope it will happen soon, then I will close the doors behind and I will pick. I was dancing here. The moment I can say, at the same time it's harder, and the same time it's easy to dance. I don't know what is this. It's actually, it's balanced. Before I was thinking too much. Oh, if it's work, it's work. But now I think everything in the body, I think it's, uh, it will work. I can combine something different, you know, if something doesn't work, I can put emotions in this, you know. Of course, I will not do bad performance, but I think when you grow like a dancer, you have so much experience to dance with different uh, ballerinas, different performances, everything. That's why you, you know what you must do to make your best of the best. That's why I, I, I can say, Yes and no. When I was start to take the directorship in the Berlin, I want to erase the quality of the company. I want to bring the choreographers who create something specially for Berlin and to show the dancers the world with the repertoire what we have. Of course, it takes time, step by step, until I build the company, until I build the repertoire. We dance in the Staatsoper, with Deutsche Oper and Komische Oper. We have uh, 110 performances a year. I was taking my time until I built a repertoire in the Staatsoper and in Deutsche Oper. And then I also step in the Komische Oper where it has completely different tradition, only the modern, after Blanca Lee left. The opera was being closed for us, but actually I opened the doors and now we also performing there. The company became so strong that it was attract the choreographer who is coming to create something for dancers and also for me. And the last premieres what we have, we have Snow White by Pierre Jocage, we are second company. And we have a Caravaggio by Mauro Biganzetti who was created also for the company, it's also for me. <coughs> we are one of the companies who has a whole ring from Bejar. Of course, it's five and a half hours ballet, 
the whole ring in one valley, it it's takes a long time, whole evening, from 6 until 11.30. And the, everybody, the whole company, I have 91 person in the company. It's the biggest company in Germany. And all the dancers are involved. Definitely Russians, it will be not accept the things what I did the last time, last premiere. But I think for Americans, they will look first time. Maybe they will come second time and they will decide if they like or not. Germany is more open for the things. Everything modern in our time. You know, we live in the 21st century. And of course, uh, critics like everything modern. But they still like the classics, you know. And in Germany, and especially in Berlin, it's like virus, you know. If the people like, it's split it around and then its house is full. It's always been like this. I have some American dancers in the company. Some of them fit perfectly to European company, but some of them, they can fit only in American company. I think it's a style of the school, or they don't want to change, to adapt everything where they work. Uh, I also had a sometimes hard time before when I was dancing in ABT to adapt style of Balanchine or Marta Graham on different things. But you know, if you want, in, then you must. When I decide to go in the West, and this time it's already, it was borders open. I uh, still, it's, uh, you can live. But now I think it's more free. The dancers can go, the dancers can go there and there and there. They have a, a multi-visa, they have European Schengen stamp in the passport, and they can travel and can do lots of things. Of course, in my time, we don't have the things. I think lots of things change in the good, and some of them it's not in a nice way. You know, because some of the good dancers, they change in the companies. Before it was, they stuck to the Marinsky or Bolshoi. It's always been competed. Now the people, you know, talking about uh, if you would like to come to Bolshoi, we give a little bit more money, an apartment, and everything what you like. Uh, everything it's became a little bit political things. That's why, you know, it's some, it's, um, it's becoming a mixed salad with the style. Bolshoi before they have their own style and Marinsky they have their own style. Now it's becoming mixed, you don't know where these dancers belong. And uh, I don't want to say bad things, but I think it's life. And we, I, we cannot say that it must be stopped. It's a, life of the dancers and they might make their own decision where they would like to dance and where they would like to go.